Alrighty, welcome back. I'm finally going to take these braids out today. I've had enough of looking at them and I've had them in long enough. I'm proud of myself for how long I kept them in, but it's time to come out. So these are coming out today. I have no clue what I'm doing next, but that's okay. I'll cross that bridge when I get there. Alrighty, all the braids are out. It literally took me hours to get them out, but they're out. I'm happy. I'm going to wash my hair and I'm going to use Briogeo. This is the shampoo, the conditioner, and this is banana and coconut. I used this before and actually really, really like it. But prior to washing it, I'm actually going to use pre-shampoo to detangle my hair. I love using this pre-poo. It literally detangles my hair so well. Like, Look how easily the brush is gliding through after braids. If I were to just use water, oh my god, this would be so treacherous. But I love it. It's just gliding through. Look at that. So well detangled. Oh my god. So the pre-poo is from Miel and it's uh, Mongo. Oh. Mongongo oil. I know I'm pronouncing it wrong, but this is it. I've been using it forever whenever I take my braids out, and it's truly been a lifesaver for me. My hair is detangled. Now I'm gonna go ahead and wash it. And then we'll take it from there. I'm still trying to decide what to do with my hair. I think for now I'm just gonna um I'm just gonna blow it out and put in a ponytail. I think that's the easiest option for me right now. Yeah. BRB. Alrighty, so now I'm about to blow dry my hair. I'm going to use this as my heat protectant and then I'm going to seal it with this. I was thinking about letting my hair air dry, but I don't want to go to bed with wet hair. It's just a no-no. So <sighs> let's have some fun. done my hair is pulling out and I think I'm just gonna put it in a ponytail for now and just call it a day but I'm happy it's nice and clean I still don't know what I'm gonna do next so natural it is till then I'll catch you guys later welcome back to my channel um as you can see I'm in my car and I'm cold my car literally takes forever to heat up so the colder it is outside, the longer it takes to heat up. A smart person would just heat up their car and go wait inside, but I don't feel like doing that today. So I'm just gonna wait in the cold, like a crazy person. But yeah, so I'm actually headed out to go buy a coat today. Um, I don't have a winter coat at the moment. Well, at least not what I would consider a winter coat. What I have on right now is a hoodie and a vest. Um, unfortunately, my winter coat that I had last year, the zipper bust and it kept busting. I kept re trying to fix it. And each and every time, like if I would sit a certain way or if I move too fast or move too hard, the zipper just bust. So I had to get rid of it after last winter. I definitely made it stretch through the winter though. Cause yeah, no, I wasn't about to buy a new one in the middle of winter. 
but unfortunately that means I did not have one for this winter and I didn't prep in advance like I usually do so I have no coat so I'm gonna go get one today I spent most of the week inside I didn't even go to the gym because it's just been so cold outside and I don't have a coat so I don't want to get sick so I've just been staying home, but I feel like I'm going stir crazy. So we're gonna go try on some coats today and hopefully I find one that I like that also works for this treacherous weather we're in at the moment. Good morning, we made it to the gym. It's so cold outside, it's not even funny. I'm so happy I went and got a coat yesterday because I don't think I would have made it this far. I would have turned back around as soon as I went outside and saw how cold it was and went back home. Oh, my face is so sore right now. I'm ready. Gonna get our workout in and then take my tail back home. I'll catch you guys later. Happy Saturday. I just got back from, the, well, I didn't just get back. I'm still at the gym, but I'm in my car. I just finished my workout. Today was upper body day, and I know for a fact I'm gonna wake up sore tomorrow, but that's okay. We love it. There was a vendor here, the same one that was here last time I came here, that he sells juices. So today I'm actually trying out the banana peanut butter. I also got Echinacea, oh no, I think I lied. Oh no, I got Echinacea mullein leaf, black, sea moss, black seed sea moss, and then elderberry burdock. So, um, my post-workout meal is going to be the banana peanut butter. Um, there's protein in here, so it's perfect. It should keep me full for a couple hours, hopefully. And now I'm just going to go run some girl errands, aka I'm going to Target. I need to find some workout pants. Um, I just got rid of a bunch. I ran holes through, like, the middle, which is a good problem for me. Like, I love that. That means I wore them to the bare bones. So I need to replace them. Well, the ones that went bad, I got to replace them. And then I haven't figured out what I'm doing with the rest of my day today. It's not as cold today as it has been the past couple of days. And it's a Saturday, so I kind of don't want to stay home. I feel like I should find something to do aside from Target and actually go out. So we'll see what I end up doing. Or maybe I'll just stay home. Who knows? Okay. Ugh, honestly... <laughs> The angles that I keep catching myself at are really bad, but it's all right. So I'm at Target. I was debating also just stopping into Marshalls, but I know for a fact if I go in there, it's just not going to end well. So I'm just not even going to do that to myself. I'm going to Target and I need to be out. Oh, damn. It's already 1240. Okay. I was going to say I need to be out the door by one. I still kind of need to be out the door by one. So we'll see. Um, 110 the absolute latest. I'm actually going to set a timer. So just to make sure I don't kill it too much because spending the entire day, ah, this is such a bad ankle. What can I do? It's all right. I think the worst thing that could happen is me just browsing Target because I just end up finding things that I know I absolutely do not need. I mean, no, 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 I don't need them. I do actually don't need this measuring cup though because I'm trying to sway away from plastics. And this one's stainless steel. So this is, it wasn't on my list to buy, but it's definitely a need. So. Oh, first off, this Tabitha has a line. Oh, and it's stainless steel. I have to. So sorry to this other brand. Tabby's coming home. Let's look how cute this is. Yeah, this is actually really cute. Yeah. I'm trying to measure things. I'm trying to do a better job at measuring, I should say. Because I'm terrible. I just eyeball everything and I know for sure that <laughs> sometimes my eyeball 
is screaming something is okay when in reality I'm taking like 30 portions so oh she has measuring spoons too that's actually really cute and it's also stainless steel so I'm very happy about that okay first off let me show y'all Somebody trying to be funny. Honestly, honestly, if I had my own kitchen, this would be it. This is so cute. But let me show you the stuff. So this is the measuring spoon. And then these are the measuring cups. I'm excited. And I find that um, with the stainless steels, they're also a lot easier to clean. One more thing I also need is, um, uh, what was it again? And I need it real bad. Oh, I need, um, that, the thing for the acid. I know what it is, but it's not coming to mind right now. But yeah, I need that thing because the heartburn, especially if I eat a little bit too much acidic stuff, my chest. And I know I'm the problem. I know it's me. So I'm going to get it together. Oh, look at these. These are so cute. Look at the little baby Stanley. This would be perfect for coffee, but the problem is I don't think this is going to fit in my coffee thing. I mean, I could always buy it, and if it doesn't fit, bring it back. The last time I saw it, we came to the conclusion that this would probably not fit in my cup holder. <sighs> but this is like the third time I've come to Target and it's the last one. I'm like, is it meant to be? Or am I just being crazy? Oh my God, that looks terrible. It's okay though. Um, do I need it? No. Of course not. But it's on sale today. It's on sale. So it's like, is this a sign? Wait a minute. I don't think it was this one that I think about it. I think I think it was this one that I was trying to get that didn't fit. Yeah. Actually, since I'm here, the smart thing to do would be can you fit here? Yes. Smart thing to do was um, see if it fits because I know my regular Stanley fits. The problem, okay, so the sizes are the same. Now the problem is, you see how the bottom is thin and then it gets thicker as it goes up. This is very small, like the part that goes from thinner to thicker. So I don't think this is gonna fit. You know what? I did it today, I don't need it, so I'm gonna leave it. It's okay. One other thing that I need that I almost forgot is protein powder. I've been ran out of this and I was supposed to get this a while ago. So we're gonna pick that up today. Hmm. I am going to get, what's the difference between these two? One gram of sugar. Oh, that one has less than one gram of sugar. I think I'm gonna end up going with this. Okay, so we're gonna get that. Um, I also don't wanna rely too much on protein, on like, not protein powders. Well, in general, I don't wanna rely too much on powders to hit my goals, you know? But they seem to be getting the job done. I remember when I was consistent with um, taking my, um, hitting my goals, the weight started to melt off. But then of course, you know, a life started lifing and I said, okay, enough. And it shows. So, ooh, this is unflavored. I usually like to get either the unflavored powders or vanilla. Um, I find that it's a lot easier for me to make it into like shakes and stuff 
last time I got what was it L-glutamine and I got blueberry flavored I literally couldn't mix it with anything because it, it just became too sweet and unbearable so I definitely saw this one before and I think this one was actually good yeah anyway um gonna research more and see but definitely got what I came for which is the protein powder I was supposed to get last week but it's okay we got it this week alrighty I am back home I'm so proud of myself because I only purchased what I needed today from Target okay so I'm gonna grab a seat Ooh. okay should I put this here okay honestly I need to figure my hair situation out up here is this a better angle okay it's a little crooked but okay honestly i need to figure out my hair because <sighs> i'm just sick and tired of looking at it and these twists were supposed to only be in for a day and then i take it out but i ended up not going out so i just left them in because what was the point of taking them out if i'm not going anywhere so maybe if I end up going out tonight, I'll take them out. Either way, I need to figure out what I'm doing with my hair. All right, so let's go over my purchases that I'm very proud of today. So these are from Target. I got my protein powder. This is all I got. Well, this isn't all I got. I take that back. This is the one I got is what I meant to say. So I've had this one before. I'm not the biggest fan of the flavor, but it gets the job done. I forgot to check if it had one ingredient in it. I'm supposed to check before I leave the store, but I think I'm good. Yeah, I'm good. Okay, perfect. But yeah, so this is the protein powder. This has 18 servings. And it's 20 grams of protein. So this should last me two weeks. Yeah, this will last me two weeks. Yep, and it's only 100 calories, which is perfect. Um, I got the measuring... Oh, I just broke this off, but okay. I got these measuring cups. Um, they're by Tabitha Brown's line. And it's a stainless steel, which is what I wanted. Um, the ones I currently have are plastic, and I'm trying to veer away from plastic, so. And it's cute. It's nice and gold. Next, I also got the measuring spoons from her line, because I'm trying to get away from plastic as much as possible. And then I got this workout shirt. I only got one. Um, I was trying to find the matching pants. Um, and the ones that I saw, they're not full length. And honestly, because I'm a little on the taller side, sometimes the workout pants tend to be high, look like high waters on me and I really don't like it. So I ended up not getting it. I'm going to check online to see if I can find some uh, workout pants that match this because I wanted it to be a matching set. So, yeah. But this is cute. Cute. Maybe I'll... Maybe I'll wear it on Monday. Fresh start to the week, to the workout week. Well, I mean, I'll be there tomorrow too, but you know. Next, um, I have the drinks that I got from the vendor that was at the gym. This time we got three different flavors. So it's this one, this one, and what's the other one? Yep. So in total, I got, oh, I got seven drinks in total. Oh. I'm only saying that because I know I got um, because I got the peanut butter one. It's banana peanut, um, and then I got echinacea mullein leaf. I've had this one before. I like it. Um, I think this is the one that you can take hot or cold. Um, next is this elderberry burdock. This one I haven't tried. This one I didn't purchase before. This one's a new purchase. 
he had samples out and I tried it and it was warm kind of like tea it tasted really good so we got this and we also got black seed sea moss last time I got this um it took me a minute to finish it's a little on the thicker side and the texture's um a little different I have a thing a weird thing with textures but it tastes good and it's healthy so this is what we're gonna be doing this week because last week was Thanksgiving and I need to detox. But honestly, I didn't do as bad as I do every year for Thanksgiving. I didn't get multiple servings. I got one plate and then, yeah, I got one plate this year. I was very proud of myself. Now, <laughs> the plate was filled to the brim, but it was just one. Usually I'll eat multiple filled plates, so very proud of myself this year so that's all i purchased very proud of myself i'm gonna go put my stuff away and then i'm just gonna tidy up a bit and finish decorating my tree um right now the tree looks like my brain all over the place um only because i wanted to put something up really quick but today i think i'm actually gonna take the time to really decorate it how i want it to look or as close to it as possible because yeah so with that, happy Saturday. I'll catch you guys next time.